Hey everybody, this is Casey with Lead Tech, and today I want to show you my new app, GPS Altitude. It's going to be a quick demonstration, so let's jump right into it. Okay, what you're looking at is my uh, emulator running on my computer, so it's not going to be exactly like it is on your phone. But let's go ahead and jump into the app. Now what you see here, uh, the main purpose of this app is to tell you your altitude. It'll uh, give you your altitude and it will give you the accuracy that the altitude was determined. Below that you have the coordinates. And this, this app is really interesting the way that it handles the coordinates. You have a couple options. First you can copy your coordinates by pressing this button to be pasted elsewhere like memos, you can email it, text messages, somebody your coordinates that they can pull up in Google Maps or something. Or you can actually tap on the coordinates and it will send the coordinates to Google Maps. And then one of the cool features about Google Maps is if you give it coordinates, it will give you an address. So it's like translating coordinates into an address. It's a really cool feature. Some more things that it can do is at the bottom of the app, you will see a GPS message center. Now this is a very interesting feature that I built into this uh, application. And what it does is it tells you what's going on through GPS. So when you first open it, you'll see GPS is starting up. Once the GPS is turned on, it'll start telling you searching for satellites. And I've written a, a custom logarithm that'll try and tell you the percentage it's locked on. So once you get to 100%, you will have enough information to be able to tell you some altitude, whether it's right or wrong. And once uh, you get out of the searching for satellites message, you'll get into the locking on to satellite message, which means you're getting more satellites so you can get an accurate reading. And then after that, you'll see messages such as signal strength low, medium, good, high. And once you're high, you've got a pretty good reading. So the GPS message center it, it is not necessarily only for this app. Let's say you had another GPS app, you turned it on and all you see is a big spinning wheel or some message about how your signal strength is too low. Well, if you open up my app, it'll actually tell you what's going on with your GPS. So you can have the two apps side by side. You can read what's going on with your GPS with my app. You'll have some bit of information about why it's taking so long or what it's actually doing. And then once once it's locked on to enough satellites, then you can go back to your others, other app and continue what you were doing. Other features you'll find is a uh, preferences menu. Uh, you can switch to English and uh, or metric units. You can dis disable or enable the screen timer. And if you disable it, when you're in this app, the screen will never go blank. It will always stay on. That way you can have your phone on a touchstone or on your dashboard or where wherever you're using it. It'll just stay on. You don't have to worry about that. And if you click your preferences and close out of the program, once you open back up the program, you'll ha it'll have your preferences saved. So it's a really neat feature. I'm going to keep it English and disable screen timer. Okay. Other features. If I reduce that and start doing something else, such as play with another app I built, which is really cool, you can see down here it continually updates you with your information. It'll give you your altitude and your accuracy no matter what app you're in. Another cool feature is the error handling. So let's say that your GPS is doing something funky or you, there's just something screwed up on your phone and you get an error message. Well, my app tries to determine what the actual error is and gives you some information so that you can fix it. So what I'm going to do now is simulate the GPS not working and the app will try and determine what's going on. So we get a message, hey, you, need, you, you have both your GPS and your Google location services turned off. That's not going to work for me. Go figure it out. And most of the times if you see an error message, the message that I write in there will be enough information for you to be able to fix it. So if you're timing out or something weird, it'll tell you and everything will be good to go. Alright, well that just about does it for this product demonstration. If you like this app, you'll find it in the Palm WebOS product catalog. And also if you like this app, you may want to navigate over to my website leadtech.com. There you'll find other apps that I've built that 
some are in the homebrew, some are in the WebOS product catalog. Just look around, you might find something you like. Well, that about does it. I'm Casey with Lead Tech. Have a great day.